Hi, this is Doug with IdahoMMA.com. I'm here with Aiden James. Aiden, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. No problem, Doug. Now, you know, all us uh, fans want to know uh, how Aiden James got started in mixed martial arts. Um, I was uh, 15. Uh, I was living in a group home. I uh, met this guy, uh, Jason Flynn. We really connected. He was kind of a, a mentor for me uh, during a very trying period of my life. And uh, we connected. And uh, I asked him what he did for a living besides work at a group home, and he said he was a professional fighter. Uh, he brought in his videos. Um, I liked it, and I've been training with him and anybody else I can get my hands on ever since. Yeah. Well, now, you've, you've uh, sort of, we're the tail end, almost Christmas coming up, uh, and we're the tail end of 2012. Now, your goal, uh, your goals have been set basically for 2013 to be, pretty uh, aggressive, I should say. I mean, as far as your training and, and the amount of fights you want to get under your belt. Tell us about that. Um, my plan for 2013, I'm looking at um, switching camps. I'm headed to Combat Fitness. Uh, they got the best of the best fighters over there. Um, you know, to work on my wrestling, my stand-up, just improve everything. Um, I'm working on developing, my, uh, developing myself as an athlete. I'm not very explosive. Um, I'm looking to put some weight on, uh, develop some of that explosiveness, um, that really good conditioning, and then uh, and then fight as often as possible. Give me some uh, cage experience, some more of it anyway, um, and hopefully make my pro debut later on um, in 2013, somewhere around September. Nice. Um, right now, I'm looking at my first fight. Amateur is probably going to be May. That gives me time to switch camps, um, get up to weight drop back down, uh, figure out what my walk around situation is, and then, um, you know, just prepare and get a lengthy fight camp in there and uh, take another crack at it. So. Right. Now, what's your record uh, as far as mixed martial arts? Uh, as far as mixed martial arts goes, uh, it's 3-0 and right now. Uh, all and by two by submission? No, all three by submission in the first. No. Nope, I lied. Two by submission in the first round and one uh, finished in the third by submission. So all finishes. Now, what about K1? Uh, K1, I have a record of four and one. Um, I've lost one decision and um, I've stopped four of those fights by late kicks. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So now 2013 is going to be busy. Uh, definitely busy. I've been looking at fighting every month. Um, you know, come May, uh, hopefully they can find me a good opponent. Right now, I'm hoping for John Kimball. Um, you know, he's a tough guy. Um, he's got a lot of experience. He's, a, in my opinion, a big 170-year. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Well, John Kimball and Aiden James, that would be a match. I mean, that was supposed to happen. Uh, you know, I know you guys, uh, you guys uh, are competitive. Uh, very, to say the least, very competitive. Um, you know, it was supposed to happen in uh, Aaron Luna's fights at WTF one. Unfortunately, um, because of the price of registration and blood work, I wasn't able to afford that. Um, so, you know, um, there's been a little talk back and forth, and uh, I think it's something the fans are wanting to see. You know, um, and uh, I think it'd be a good fight. So. We'll see that around May, hopefully. Wow. I, I can't see him not wanting to take the fight. Yeah, well, that, uh, yeah, as a fan, yeah, it, I think we want to see it. And May it won't come soon enough. <laughs> so, you know, I, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, you've been around, you've been around the MMA, uh, especially around this valley. Uh, what changes have you seen, say, let's just say in the last year? Last year, last six months actually, uh, just the level of competition has gone up dramatically. Um, you know, we used to um, only have promotions that put on only amateur fights, you know, people that just wanted to get in and brawl and, you know, a lot of debuters. And now we're seeing uh, promotions like Rage in the Cage and Aaron Luna um, put up some really good shows, um, like comparable to, uh, I'd say, XFC, um, which is a pretty big promotion for you those of you that don't know on uh, HDNet, um, you know, a lot of quality fighters now coming out of gyms. I think people are training right now, um, you know, no more overweight, out of shape fighters. Like if you want to be competitive in the Treasure Valley as an amateur now, you got to be on your game. So, uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of, a lot of good things yeah, for the sport. A lot of good things. Yes, definitely. And it, it's nice to see, you know, um, 
everybody likes to win, but I'd, I'd rather fight good fights. You know, it's it's about quality over quantity for right. me. Right. So. Well, it's, it's like that same that that saying, quality is remembered long after price is forgotten. You know, I mean, that's that's the name of the game. You know, is to give the fans a, a good quality competitive uh, matchup, and and I I know that uh, you know that's what you want. Oh, definitely for sure. Um, I really again this like quality thing. It's it, I could be fifteen and zero, but it's like who have you fought? You know. But I could be, you know, six and two, and it's like that dude's fought some tough guys, you know. It's all about who you can hang with, and right. uh, a lot of guys around here are really good, and I look forward to competing with them. Well, great. Well, you know, I'm looking forward to 2013. You know, Aiden, I appreciate your time. Uh, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Happy Thank New you. Year. Happy holidays. Yeah, yeah. happy holidays, and uh, we'll, we'll keep our eye on you, and, and uh, best of luck to you. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.